This is Todd Medina, your authority in MMA and everything else. What we're going to go over today, or at least the question I had today, um, comes from Chris. He's normally used to shooting um, his double leg uh, from a left lead, if the, if, his, uh, if the guy's fighting with the left lead. Now say, for example, he has a right lead. You still have to get that hip or that head on that inside hip. Or what you can do is put your head on the belly button, okay? Because a lot of guys get really confused in the heat of the moment. They don't know what to do, and they'll and end up still putting their head their head on that uh, that left hip, and it ends up for a, a front choke on MMA. So here's what we're gonna do: the same shot. So for example, if my partner, if my opponent's a southpaw, he's gonna stand right hand lead, okay? You're normally used to shooting from this this on that hip, but now you have to shoot on this one. But you really can't get it down. All I'm going to do is put my head on this forehead. So same thing, like say for example, he shoots a jab. So I'm, I double change, and I come in here, okay? So my head, once again, my belly button, my forehead's on his belly button, okay? I'm right here. Now, from my shoulder to my knee, is gonna be one straight line, just like a train. Not going over there, from here, okay? And all I'm gonna do is, my arms are gonna come like this, behind the knees, behind the knees, I'm gonna cut the corner, and then take them back. Boom, I from here, boom. Once again, he's he's not. I'm not used to this fighting a, a southpaw. He shoots that jab, a level change, and come in. All I'm gonna do is windshield wiper with this leg, won't, and then insert the hand and run. So without making a big deal about it, I mean, get used to switching doing your doubles on full hips, um, but if it, to, to make it simple if you need to, just put your forehead right on his belly button, and you can still get the same shot off. Shot off. You can run him back or cut the corner, a bunch of different things. So hopefully, Chris, that made a difference. Now, what's been on my mind lately that I'm gonna fix real quick is I bought a TV for this place a little while ago, so when the chicks came with their boyfriends or whatever, give them something to do they could watch. So I came in, and somebody hooked up a PlayStation to it, or Xbox, something, which I really wasn't paying too much attention about. But next thing I know, I got all these guys playing Xbox instead of training. So I had no-no rip the TV off the wall, and here's what we're gonna show you what to do with today. So what happens is, what I'm trying to say is, TV, kill your TV, it does nothing good for you. I mean, if you're watching, if you're watching uh, videos or whatever on YouTube, how to get better, you can do that on your phone. But people spend way too much time on their on their TV, and it's just not it doesn't drive with me. So, like I said again, I don't know, take it off the wall, and uh, I'm putting this a challenge to everybody. You don't need that TV. Don't be spending hours in front of TV and not doing anything. We've had a couple people in here complaining about it because they want to watch TV. You should either be studying, training, or learning something new. But kill that TV. I don't know. Over here. I got something to put it on. Today we got these twin special Tom Medina signed gloves, like when he was an M1 champ out of Russia. So, once again, once again, okay, get rid of that TV. I don't say give it away to anybody because that's not doing anybody else any good. Get rid of those video games, spend more time on the mat, spend more time studying, learn something. Right there. I'm saying you don't need to feel nothing. Look. Take them off. Nothing. Woo. So from Noah, Big Rocky, Todd Medina, kill that TV. If you didn't know, now you know.